Hi guys. I'm actually making this intro after I'd already shot all the video footage uh, because I realized I forgot to make an intro. Um, but this year I decided to grow a few different varieties of melons that I have never grown before and never even tasted before uh, to see if it's something that I would like and maybe want to grow in the future. Um, a lot of these you can't just go to the store and pick up. So I really haven't had the opportunity to try them at any point in the past. So got my hands on some seeds and I actually have some harvests ready. So we're just going to go over uh, the two different varieties that I um, picked over the last couple days and let you know my thoughts and I guess give them a review. All right. I think it's time. Got a nice dull skin. The little tendril is brown and withered. The spoon leaf had browned, but I accidentally plucked it off. And the bottom has a yellow butter-like color. Oh, I hope this isn't the giant flop because last time I grew orange tender sweet, it didn't go well. Well, here goes nothing. Ooh. All right, let's see how I did. Not the biggest one. They're said to get up into the 30 pound range, but it's bigger than I've ever grown. Let's see if it uh, maxes out my little kitchen scale here. All right, looks like we are at nine pounds, four ounces. Well, I'm glad I put that netting there. Look what fell off overnight. They usually separate from the vine when they are ripe. So that's the uh, Ananas de Marique melon, a type of cantaloupe. And the first one I've ever grown, so be interested to see what it tastes like. Well, this is one of the other Ananas de Amerique melons. Not ripe yet, and you can see that perfect hole. All that gross coming down. There's a pickle worm in there. Dang it. Yep, there's a whole lot of pickle worms in there. The closer I look, the more holes I see. Great. Just see if you can hear it. All the busy bees. Oh, hey, we got some color. Not bad. Smells amazing. That's really pretty. I think it's uh, getting pretty close to too ripe, actually. Last one I picked was not ripe enough to even though all the signs said it was. Now that I got it cut up a little bit, it's time to do the taste test. Now, I've never tried orange tender sweet watermelon before. I've always just tried red varieties, but I'm a fan of things that are a little different. So fingers crossed. Mm. It's definitely different than a red, uh, red watermelon but it's um super super sweet like there there's kind of a hint of honey there maybe it's so refreshing oh, it's really really good <laughs> well, 
Hold on. What do the other critics have to say? Do we like it? Yeah? I think they approve. So it's been about 24 hours since I picked this melon, this uh, NNS Damarique melon uh, type of cantaloupe. Um, I found out last year that if you cut open a cantaloupe or a honeydew immediately after picking it from the vine, a lot of times it's crispy. It's kind of like an apple on the inside and, and not very juicy. And it's best to let those types of melons rest for about 24 hours on the counter uh, before you cut into them. They'll soften up, they'll get really juicy. And let me tell you, this thing has become so fragrant in the last 24 hours. Nola? You're interrupting. No, no, you can't have the melon. This one's mine. But yes, uh, let them rest for about 24 hours and they will be a lot juicier and not so crunchy. All right, so let's cut into this and see, uh, see how it is. Girls, go lay down. That looks pretty nice. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. Wow. I really can't describe it. It smells heavenly. It's very familiar, maybe honey and lemon. I don't know, I can't put my finger on it. Maybe a touch of pineapple, but it is so good smelling. I hope it tastes that good. Okay, so I just scraped the seeds out. I'm gonna probably save those and plant next year if they look good. Let's give this a try. It is so juicy and I cannot get over the smell of this. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. It's a cantaloupe. That's for sure. But there's so much more to it. Oh, I might just end up eating this whole thing. Don't tell my husband. I told him I would save him some. Seriously. It is so much sweeter than any cantaloupe I have had. And that, that musky smell is, is a lot uh, less, less potent. It's very mild compared to all the other cantaloupe I've had. Oh wow, this is so good. Okay, well, I'm gonna turn you off so I can finish cutting this up and hopefully manage to get some in the fridge before I eat it all so my husband can try it. Thanks for joining me on the melon cutting day, uh, having a good melon year, which is really nice because I suck at melons. So this is the first year I've had a good melon year. And well, I'll see you next time. Bye. But seriously, if I had to pick one melon and that could be the only melon I could ever grow again, I think it would be the NNS Day Emmerich melon. Even the bit by the rind that usually has no flavor is delicious. Anyway, see you later for real this time.